Hey everyone, it's Danielle from Exploring Alternatives. In this video, we're checking out a Hobbit house at the eco resort called Les Toits du Monde, which means Roofs of the World. It has a green roof with these really cool extensions to it that come all the way down to the ground that provide additional shade for the house so that it actually keeps it really cool during the summer and helps retain some of the heat during the winter. It also has a solar panel to power all of the lights, a wood stove, and they don't have plumbing so instead they've got a composting toilet. They bring in jugs of drinking water and for the shower they fill up a portable solar shower. The house is currently a vacation rental at this eco resort but we think it's big enough and comfortable enough and really well designed so that you could actually live in a house like this if you wanted to live off grid and you could ha probably have up to four people in here. So let's go take a look inside. This is the inside of the Hobbit house. You can see the walls are all round. The Hobbit house was built with straw bales and then they plastered it with a natural limestone plaster on top. So I think that's why it was easier for them to do a round shape. And actually all of the lines in this uh, Hobbit house are kind of rounded or there's not really any right angles, which is kind of nice. It's got a really natural feeling in it. And uh, I really like the dome that they've put right in the center of the Hobbit house. That brings in a lot of natural light too. And it really makes you feel like you're just part of the forest, which I guess is the idea in a Hobbit house. Um, over here, there's a kitchen with a natural edge uh, countertop and a really neat sink and the Hobbit house is all off grid so they have to bring in uh, jugs of water. They use a small propane cooktop for cooking and you can see here there's a propane uh, line going through the back of the counter and outside to the tank. Over here super nice rounded doorway and actually I'll just show you this door. Look how nice this door is. So this is the shower stall and then they have a solar shower bag here so this is a bag that you would fill up with water and leave outside so that the sun would heat up the water and give you a hot shower. And then it has this pump so you can create your own water pressure and then the water would go through the tube and then you have a little nozzle here that you can use to wash off. So it's a pretty simple low tech solution which I really like, less stuff to break. And then behind the door um, there's a little porthole window which is really cute. Give you some nice ventilation or the toilet. So this is just a composting toilet, looks like a five gallon bucket and they use sawdust. So they've just got this cute little uh, compartment there with sawdust and a little mug to sprinkle on after each use. Over here we've got a couple of inset beds set right into the wall which is really neat um, so it kind of creates the sense of privacy even though they're clearly part of the main room. I'm assuming the top bunk is for adults because the opening is a little bit bigger so it wouldn't be as claustrophobic and this one seems more like a little kind of nook that I think kids would have a lot of fun in. I really like how they integrated the steps right into the wall here so it still lets in some light um, and then you can just climb up using these rope handles. This is a little sitting area and again they've used wood in a different way so that each little area in the house feels a little bit different. So here they've put um, the ends of small logs to decorate the bench and it's a cozy little sitting area. So let's say someone wants to sleep, it feels like you could still have a lot of privacy over here. Um, maybe a lights on and stuff without disturbing the person who's sleeping in the other room. So you get open concept kind of community living here but you still have little areas, little nooks in the house that give you a bit of privacy. The Hobbit house is totally off grid and we are in Canada so obviously it's going to get cold sometimes so the whole house is heated with just this one wood stove. This is a pretty epic eating area with these huge log columns and a nicely carved table. So they have lots of windows here and you get lots of natural light in the house uh, even though they have those kind of extensions to the green roof outside that from the outside it looks like it would create a lot of shade but when you're in here it's actually really bright. And then last but not least, no Hobbit house would be complete without a small round door that you have to duck into uh, to get in although I think I fit under there so that might make me a bit of a hobbit. <laughs> 
Overall, I really like this Hobbit house for a lot of reasons. I love the round shape. I love the natural light that's coming in from all sides. I love all the different ways that they've incorporated natural wood into the house. I love all the rafters and everything. It just has a really warm, cozy feeling. Um, I think the green roof is really helping to keep this house cool because it's really blazing hot outside right now, but we're actually really nice in here. It feels like there's air conditioning. This could be a really good option for someone who's looking to build something really cheap and off the grid, but using local materials that seem to be mostly found on site. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more like it.